Hey, and welcome back to Python and our Hangman game. Today we're going to look at actually whatever the person's guessed, does it actually appear in the word? Now it's easy for us to spot if, say, the letter A was in Hangman. We've got two, yeah. But actually for a computer, is it that simple? Are we going to need code that we looked at the last lesson to ask ourselves if the letter is actually in the word? Let's take a closer look. OK, so I've printed out all my options, or typed out all my options as comments. I've got, is it in the word? So if, um, whatever they've guessed, in the chosen word. Now that in command is just looking for that one letter within that chosen word, or that um, one that we picked out randomly. Don't forget the colon. Now what am I going to do? Well, if it is in the chosen word, I'm going to have the yes option first. I'm going to have to move that around, so let's bring that up. There we go. So the yes option, um, let's have a print statement. It's better to check it at this stage to see if it works. Um, print um, chosen word. Uh, oh, the comma, by the way, lets me add more than one thing. So I've got a variable followed by a piece of text followed by another variable there. So that should output print, oh, I don't know, say it shows devices contains E, so depending on what they've guessed. Alright, use the F else statement to get my no option. I've already typed it once, so I might be able to type it a second time. E, and indent, paste. But it doesn't contain it, it doesn't contain. Oh, the punctuation mark. Right. I think I'm ready to try it out. Take a look. Please enter your guess. Oh yeah. Looking good so far. Microphone doesn't definitely contain a D. Device contains an E. At least one. C no. One more for luck. I'm pretty happy with that. You're going to want to check the next video to find out what we do with these comments below. So looping through the words and everything. But I think at this moment in time it's probably best to label which ones I'm going to have to deal with later. So I'm not looking at words. And I'm not going to look at the no option. So if it doesn't have it, I'm just going to leave it with that error message that says it doesn't contain one going to be easier to work with the yes option first. So I'm going to need to loop through the word, compare each letter of the word with the guess, and then replace out the new word with dashes instead of, or replace the dashes with the letter. Good luck, and over to you.